All right, all right. It's that time Hello. again. Hello, everybody. What's Hello. going on out there? What up? Looks like uh, Greg is wrenching people to death out there. Um, I'm not sure exactly what that person did. I'm not sure exactly what that person did. Uh, let's see, Cushy Cush 420. Was he trying to sell the wrench pot? He might have. Oh man, that that's probably a mistake. Yeah, the wrench will break, probably, break her knuckles. Yeah, like that's like the the Cush King of of Central Canada right there. You know <laughs> who you're messing with? He vapes nugs for days. That's right. Everybody wonder wonders why he's always got a pipe in his hand. It ain't because yep. he likes vaping. Tell you yep. what. Yep. He doesn't. He doesn't uh, use it though. He just uh, sells it. Uh, you know, occasionally you'll see him. You know, testing out a new product or a new strain that he's got. You know, from the back of his place. I didn't occasionally, even know that. See, yeah, that's usually when he gets a little. Re like, he gets a little wrenchy. He doesn't get handsy. He gets a little mm. wrenchy. I usually see him huffing like markers and things like that. That's the things I've seen him get high with. Oh, Greg's in. Greg's into that instant gratification. He doesn't like that slow burn high. Got yep. it. Yep. Yep. Got it. He likes just a you know quick case of the whoop 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 and then back to work. <laughs> to whoa 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 whoa. That's right. That's your right. Mouth, your mouth tastes like paint thinner for three days after. Oh man, it explains why you can't find any any. Uh, Canned whipped cream in Central Canada. Yep. All just gets delivered straight to Mr. Paschuk's house. Yep. All right, guys, we'll talk more about that in a minute. Let's do this, shall we? Good evening, everybody. What is up? What is up? What is up? 44 is in the house. That's the lesson. Fresh from the kitchen is back with Fresh 03 right there, giving a little bit of that arm candy to everybody. What's up, Fresh? What's happening, everybody? What's going on? What are we doing? <laughs> what are you doing? What are you, what's everybody doing out there? Hey, guys. Hey, V Dog. What you doing, homie? We've had a week off to get creepy. That's right. I feel like Can we the get creepy right away. I mean, yeah, it's okay. it's okay. I mean, I spent the you know we spent the weekend raising money for sick children and stuff. I mean, figure figure it's time to let loose. Let yeah, loose. you know when you help the children, you just gotta let everything go after that because everything's fucking free. You know what I mean? Well, I had a I had a little I had a bit uh, for Wayne Walker's roast. I had a little bit that it was. I was going to do, and then I wound up having to take off. But Concrete River, Concrete River, that dude, holy shit, he lit into everybody, everybody, including me. Apparently, uh, if you wear a Rin Vapes t-shirt, you can't get laid. That's what I learned last night from Concrete River. You physically can't get laid, or you should not be allowed to get laid? I, I'm pretty sure he said, I'm pretty sure he was inferring that physically I could not get laid because I was wearing a Rin Vape t-shirt. Because women would be turned off by that, or I don't, I don't, I don't, I, it's just it was just the spiel that he went with was uh, like uh, there was one guy that uh, there was one guy that was uh, he he was like sucking off the titty of a meth hooker and uh, my his spiel for me is that uh, I couldn't get laid and I try and monetize every show that I'm on or something like that. I don't know exactly what it was, but it was fantastic. It was oh, fantastic. This, was, this was the roast. I get it. I get oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. No, it was it was fantastic. There's a little bit fantastic. of truth to that, though, I, I because... Had, I had it coming. Yeah, I would imagine you did, because, you know, all the things that you give 
freely to the community and all the good works you do and all the help, <laughs> selfless help that you provide, you definitely deserve to be beaten down. Oh, it was it was it was great though. He, if anybody didn't get to watch Wayne's stream, you can you can go over to the you can forward to the roast. It was about two and a half hours in, I want to say, two and a half three hours in, and oh man, there was some there was some good roasting. But when you get to Concrete River, don't no children in the room because holy cow. Well, I don't think awesome. any of these shows are good for uh, for children, are they? I mean, uh, we had uh, I had the lady I had the ladies take over my channel on Saturday. That one's that one's fairly kid friendly, fairly kid friendly. Is till, it oh, till, they, till they got Leilani fired up. Oh, oof! But she got ma- she got mouthy with her with what what she was hearing about uh, about flavor notes. About people, people messing with their flavor notes. You don't do that to Leilani. No. It was great though. It was that was a fantastic show as well. The whole, the entire, the entire weekend was amazing. Just amazing. Um, we raised while you were gone. We raised uh, what was it? We raised like thirteen hundred dollars for the fire relief, and then three uh, close to four thousand dollars for St. Jude's last night. We've been on a we've been on a fundraising kick for the holidays, taking everybody's Christmas money. So, when you can't when you can't buy your kids presents, you can always blame Fresh O Three. Now, let me ask you this question: That money, what account is it going into, and how does it get paid, like tax for tax purposes? Because you you can't just give money, right? What to the to which one? The to same either. Or no? Either of them. Yeah, Don't, yeah, it's tax free. Like people setting up a GoFundMe, so GoFundMe takes their chunk, and then you just hand the check over. Good. And then St. Jude's, St. Jude's was uh, donated directly to St. Jude's. So Good. if there's, yeah, if there's questions that need to be, question <laughs> questions about the funding, that's on St. Jude's now. Is that, that's on those sick children. I hope they got their math skills up. Yeah, the sick chops. St. Jude's is always a good uh, a good charity to donate to because those kids really need the help and the parents need the support also. And there's nothing there's nothing worse than having your kid come down with like a, an illness or a terminal illness. But then on top mm-hmm. of it, to have your kid come down with an illness and have it totally ruin every financial bit of stability that that family has is even yeah. scarier. So, yeah. and I think we I think we raise enough money to buy Wayne a real sick one. So. I think it's going to be. I think it's going to. I think the the uptick on uh, Wayne tugging on your heartstrings over on his channel is going to go way, way, way up because you don't have to sit around, you know, pretending Skittles as a sick child anymore. So he does it well. He makes you believe. We were thinking. We were thinking last night that we should get Wayne uh, a kid with tremors, like really bad, like really bad shakes for shaking up the liquid. I don't know. Just a thought. Just a thought, right, everybody? Hey, Jennifer Jarvis. I saw some pictures. I saw Jennifer Jarvis in the picture uh, from the she show. There, I yes. saw um, Pippa was there, and she was sharing a nice post this morning about how grateful she was to be involved in such an awesome event like that. It was. It was an amazing event. It really was. Um, just a lot of it was a, it was a lot of it was a lot of fun. It was a lot of fun getting to hang out with everybody, getting to know everybody a little better. Because um, it was it was not just like Wayne's community. It was you know my community. It was um, like the Mixers crew came in, and there was it was just a ton of people who don't normally talk all that much. Um, and everyone got along fantastically, and it was just it was just a, it was just a ton of fun to be involved with it. Um, Jennifer Jarvis. Uh, Shout out to Jennifer Jarvis and Pippa. They looked like their heads were going to explode um, last night, trying to keep track of everything that was going on. And then uh, Folkart, Folkart was uh, was busy, busy in the back room. It was, but it was just a ton of fun, just a ton of fun to be involved. So shout out to everybody that was involved. Yeah, I, I, good, good cause. All jokes aside, it was it's you you really can't beat St. Jude's for for a charity to actually make a difference in somebody's life. Um, they don't take any money. Uh, everything that you donate goes directly to uh, helping kids, uh, helping their families get through everything. So it's it's just one of those things you really can't you really can't beat St. Jude's. And so I was more than happy to to spend time and effort getting everything put together for it. Very cool, fresh. 
And for everybody that donated, shout out yeah. to you. Big shout out. You guys are all getting VC4 ADV tickets. I'm still going through the list. I'm still going through the list. <laughs> still converting all, all the entries over to VC4 ADV tickets. Um, what else? What else do I have to do? I have to I have to reach out to the people who won prizes. So if you won a prize from Adore, Coil Vapes, or Omegeddon, just stand by. You're you're waiting on me. You're waiting on me, and I need to get the I need to get the before ADV thing done first. So you'll probably hear from me tonight, though. You'll probably hear from me later tonight, after I get off this show. When um, when are we, when is the announcements happening for that? For the VC4 ADV. Yeah. January first. January first. We'll an- we'll announce the prize winners. Dude, it's going to be ridiculous. Oh, it's it's already ridiculous. We've got seven <laughs> pri- seven prize packs, seven prize packs. Where last year we had three. So you're not going to buy anything. You're going to be set for life. You are all going to be set for life. I see a lot of familiar names from going through the list. From How last many- from last night. How many people so far do you think are involved? Oh, for the for the BC four eighty V? Um, I wanna say five or six hundred. Wow, that's a lot. hmm Very, very cool. Yeah, very cool. But not, yeah, not, was, not to mention all the companies that step up and the people, the individuals, the companies, the businesses, all these things. Everybody comes together and supports these types of things, which is always awesome. Yeah. And the great thing about the VC four eighty V is the money's already donated. Like you go and you donate it yourself and then you just bring us a receipt back. So you don't have to worry about us, you know, taking a chunk or PayPal taking a chunk or anybody taking a chunk of anything. It's already the money's already been delivered to who you intended it to go to. So Yeah, as long as the place you intended it to go to is a good place to intend to go to. True. Yep. True. But I like it. Yeah. I usually give my PayPal because I have a Ferrari payment to pay for. And that's just how it works around this joint. But you know, working working on that Ferrari, ain't nothing yep. wrong with that, Brian. Ain't nothing wrong with that. I got needs, special needs. That's one of them. There you so, go. Yeah. Um. So yeah, it's the holiday season, and I gotta be honest with you. If I seem a little bit awkward tonight, I'm fucking exhausted. I had so much shit going on in the past two weeks. We were away in Orlando for like this trip slash vape expo slash. You know, it was fun, but it was three days, and if you know Disney, that shit takes the takes it out of you. So yeah, we did does. Disney. We had all our friends there. We did all that. Then we came back, and I, I you know, I work full time. And then on top of that, uh, I had to make a, a video with Mark that we did that took all day on Saturday. And then we had all these different Christmas events, plus shopping, plus, I mean, the list goes on and on. Plus, I do th- two other live shows during the week besides this one, and I'm also trying to get back into doing reviews again. So the plate is incredibly full. I'm tired. I see, I'm a little spaced out tonight, um, yeah. but I'll do my best to keep up with the show. But that's some we you know we're human, fresh. Everyone, I'm sure there's people out there in chat. Actually, I know there's people in chat that are spaced the fuck out too. So, yeah, I mean, I'm on, I'm on at least five live shows a week, and then generally I'll shoot a video on the weekend if I have time, and then, but. All the reviews that I've got piled up, they thank goodness for this time off I've got coming. There's JFM. JFM was on the show as well. JFM's an amazing guy. Amazing guy. There were so many so many great people. But <laughs> Pippa, Pippa, big shout out to Pippa for, for herding the cats all week. Keeping J- us all pointed <laughs> in a sensible direction. <laughs> J- JFM said after the drop I deserve a supercar. I feel the same way. It just hasn't ha- it hasn't materialized yet, so we'll see what happens. <laughs> Drop B2 coming next week, everybody. Yeah, maybe uh, Digiflavor has a, a Ferrari that they're delivering on Christmas morning. Oh, uh, that'd be mighty sweet of them. Yeah, maybe. You never know. You never know. Uh, let's see. Anything in chat that we need to deal with? Any special needs? Any requests? Does anybody um, want... I was just I was just giving shout-outs to Pippa and Jennifer Jarvis, um, the DIY Mixers crew. Um there were so many, so many people involved. Like uh, I, I was one of the least people involved in that in that thing last night. So just big shout outs to everybody that was super involved. And yeah, they did an amazing job. Leilani, big shout out to Leilani. There she is. Big shout out to Leilani because she came on my live show 
uh, after herding cats, along with Pippa trying to keep us all pointed in the right direction. Yeah, so, those two are such helpers. That's all I have to say. They're just they're nurturers, amazing. you know, and they're the kind of nurturers that they'll pat you on the back, but they'll also punch you in the jaw if you get out of line. And I need that kind of attention. You know, Leilani was just delivering like straight sidekicks to people as they were, you know, coming in the room, like, keep yourself in line. Yeah! Like Shawn Michaels, you know, little sweet chin music. Leilani needs a Tylenol. First of all, thank you, Leilani. <laughs> Leilani did something. I'm not going to say what she did for me, but it was super special. It, she took her time, her energy. She showed up for me when I needed her. And she, just really selfless. And thank you, Leilani. It made a big difference. And it will pay off down the road. And I'll, I'll maybe, I won't bring up what you did, but I'll definitely give you a shout out down the road when everything comes together. Uh, somebody else asked a question about when are the drop colors coming out? Everybody's been asking drop colors, drop colors, drop colors. Uh, the drop colors are coming. They're shipping from China on January 7th. So we're going to have a black. We're going to have a gunmetal. We're going to have a blue. And we're also going to have a gold. The three that are not the gold are going to be like a, uh, a media blasted kind of flat finish. And they're all going to be solid color. And then the yeah. gold is going to be like a really fucking shiny, like put it on a brass mech mod type gold, and it's going to pop. So oh, I'm su super stoked about that. That gunmetal's calling to me already. The O-rings are hopefully going to be completely perfect by this time. <laughs> and the second drip tip that comes with it, the little tiny tight one, which is actually my favorite, the one that was Ultim looking on the original, is going to be uh, frosted white this time. Nice. Yeah. So little minor changes, but everything should really come together, so... Can't wait. Can't wait either. Yep. It's going to be amazing. You know what's awesome, Fresh? Being a mem member of not not just the DIY community, because there's like the DIY group, and then there's like just vape enthusiast groups that, that buy liquid and don't DIY at all. Yeah. And all, all these people that in, get involved with either it's entertainment or it's you know education or it's opening up a shop or developing products or marketing or just hanging out and being a part of a helpful part of the community and those people actually help new users the most because they have time to read comments and respond to people but to see people flourish and shine and become a part of and the excitement and the growth and the commitment and all these types of things that we see it's just a fucking joy man sometimes it's oh, so it humbling it is yep. yeah every once in a while someone will send you one of those messages like I haven't bought, I haven't bought liquid in three years thanks to you fresh I'm like I, I feel that makes me feel like I made a difference. <laughs> but then they start telling me about, you know, 400 flavors. I'm like, I'm sorry, I did that to you. Yeah, or or fresh. I saw that video and I thought I would try out that uh, the chili cheese vape. And, oh, God. Uh, sorry. It's still, Not it's, sorry. Still, it's still sitting over here. It's still sitting over here. I said I'd let it sit a month and vape it again. How long has that been? Uh, it's been about a month. Not tonight. I'm, I'm not doing that tonight. <laughs> Dude, you called me on the... I got, I, got, I, got, I got shit to do tonight as soon as the show's over, people. <laughs> it, might en it might energize you. Uh, that, that stuff doesn't energize. That stuff That stuff is... Mm. You called me on the phone last week, and I, and I could smell your breath from that vape on the phone. Yeah, like a like a sweet onions with chili powder. Just, just wafting through the phone. I wonder, is there anyone out there that would open mouth kiss fresh with that, with that breath of his with, after vaping that? Maybe you could chase the dragon with somebody like, I don't know, Daytime Frank, perhaps. Daytime Frank, next time you're in the neighborhood, let me know. I'll keep it set aside for you. Or Socrates, he's always looking to open mouth kiss anybody. Socrates, a cab driver? Absolutely. Yeah. If anybody's looking to open mouth kiss someone who's been eating chili, it's Socrates, a cab driver. I'm going to put it out there, Fresh. I, I imagine by March, Socrates the Cab Driver's Drip Tip Collection, the ones that he vapes, is going to be probably, I don't know, chest high from the ground. Oh, yeah. yeah. He's going to be like, just take it to vape. <sighs> How you feel about that, bro? Like, what? <laughs> maybe, maybe he's on to something that we don't even know about. He said, don't knock it until you try it. So. Yeah, I kind of want to stack drip tips and see what happens. It's... It's pretty awesome. Uh, so, Christmas. Um, I've been eating so much shit lately, Fresh. I have totally gone off the reservation. I've put on like 25 pounds from like October till now. 
it's going to be a painful January, February, March to get my, you know, my bikini brief underwear or my speedos in proper, you know, form my body in form for speedo season. I mean, the the, the whole the whole pouring over the top and and it's a look. Pouring over the top of your speedo, it's a look. It's certainly popular in Europe. <laughs> they don't give a fuck in Europe. <laughs> That's true. That's true. I guess it just depends on where you're planning to where you're planning on wearing the speedo. If it's just I, around that, it's just around the house. I'm not sure how Amy would take it. I wear them to the supermarket. Okay. So just I gotta get like, better shape. Like a Hawaiian, like Hawaiian t-shirt open to the navel, and then like one button done, and then a speedo. Yep. Some flip flops. I mean, that, that covers up that that covers up that overflow. Yep. Banana hammock. Chris says, yeah, I'm a huge fan of the banana hammock. I find that my agility is on point when I wear them. I have like complete freedom of movement for my thighs and my calves. And, uh, you know, I'm a, I'm a reactionary type of vapor and a reactionary type of person in, in my day to day life. So I just need to be able to zip around and, you know, get up in the business, whatever the business is that I'm into. So I'm going to starve myself for three months to get back into fight, fighting shape. As soon as Christmas is over, it's on. But until then, I'm working on the type one or type 2 diabetes, so it's it's progressing well. And I had cookies after dinner tonight, and um, I have sugar and, and creamer in my coffee right now, so it's pretty fucking disgusting. I've been having heartburn and reflux at night when I'm sleeping again. It's, it's, it's been awesome. Oh, fantastic times. Yeah, so speaking of that, we're actually going to do mixes tonight based yeah. upon... Things that we enjoy maybe during the holiday season. Not that I particularly enjoy, but my brain is telling me this one's going to turn out pretty good. And what is that? Uh, I'm going to do a blackberry eggnog custard with a little bit of rum. A little bit of rum in it. I think that's going to turn out quite nicely. So how, we that, achi- how are we achieving this? So we're going to use the uh, we're going to use Flavora eggnog, of course, because it's just kind of it's kind of sweet, eggy, creamy. Really, really nice thick mouth feel. We'll use Inaware custard, uh, just because it's it's so easy to use. We're gonna use a little Jamaican rum, a little Jamaican rum from TFA, uh, a little pumpkin spice, a little pumpkin spice just to get all the flavors right and proper. A little Flavor West blackberry to give you almost a blackberry candy type flavor uh, in there, and that Jamaican rum just to kind of just kind of give you a little bit, little something extra on the end of it. Have you ever had anything like this before in your real life? Yeah. No, no, just that's what kind of that's just kind of what uh, kind of what struck me. I've been doing Christmas mixes for like three weeks straight now, so uh, my Christmas spirit is a, it's at a little low right now. Uh, I will tell you that the eggnog French toast I did, I think it was two weekends ago, two weekends ago, uh, turned out quite lovely. That turned out turned out incredibly lovely. So. He- Amy makes this uh, on Christmas morning. She makes this like uh, French toast souffle type of thing, where she puts like French toast in like real thick Texas toast, and yeah. she puts it into like a, a gingerbread man shaped pan, and she bakes it with like cinnamon sugar and like this really creamy. I don't even know what it is, but it's like creamy and fucking caramely and gooey, and it's absolutely ridiculous. And then it gets like this, almost like a creme brulee type of layering on the top of it. That when you cut into it, it almost like cracks, but Ooh. it's like gooey and warm and fucking ridiculous. It's probably like five thousand calories a bite, almost almost a bread pudding type thing. It's yo, it's just like a bread pudding. Yeah, just like you want to get like a scoop of vanilla ice cream to put it on top, but it's breakfast. I mean. I, I will I will fully admit to eating apple pie all the mode for breakfast, so I don't see a problem. Well, who sets these limits for... anyway, Fresh? Exactly, exactly, Brian. Who the fu- who the fuck are you to tell me I can't have ice cream with my breakfast? Who I'm the a grown- fuck are you? I'm a gr- I'm a grown ass man. I'm a grown ass man, Leilani. I'll have ice cream with my breakfast if I want. I, I shouldn't have said that. I shouldn't have said that. That's I'm gonna pay. For I had that. nothing to with do Leilani. with what Fresh just said. Nothing. I'm going to pay for that next time I'm in, a, I'm in a room with Leilani. My bad, Leilani. Uh, Fresh, have you seen The Last Jedi yet? I have. What would you like to know? I don't want to know anything, because I'm going to see it with my sister next week. It's fucking amazing. Okay, that's all I wanted to know. The end. There's a scene towards the end. Like, There's not many movies that'll make my jaw drop. There's a scene towards the end where I was like... 
Really? Jaw, tw jaw trembling on the floor. And are you still feeling that moment? Um, I want to see that movie again just to see that scene all over again. Wow. Yeah. I felt like that. Like, I didn't really like the prequel ones, you know, like one, two, and three. But I will say that there was a scene at the end of three when Vader, you know, when they, you know, they said, Lord Vader, rise. And he, like, the table raised up. Like, yeah. that, I fucking felt that shit. Yeah. You know what I mean? Or when he was, like, on the ground crawling with his fucking amputations and stuff like that. Like, that was pretty intense. I, I enjoyed that a lot. Yeah, it's it's not like that. It's just one of the most visually stunning things I've ever seen put on film. It's okay. Just, well, shit. It's one of those things where when, it's something that you have to see in a theater. So, I don't want to read chat because I feel like somebody's going to fucking ruin it. No, someone's... Is it a titty scene? Yes, absolutely. It's a titty scene. Yoda, Yoda whips one out and throws it in, in uh, Luke's mouth. Yoda's breastfeeding Luke, and then the Ewok comes in and blows Yoda at the same time. It's a huge scene. It's very visually stunning. <laughs> Take the tit, Luke. You must. Lactating I am. <laughs> I've got a butt in the oven. I have. <laughs> uh, all right guys so, yeah let's mix let's what do we mix grab, i'm gonna i'm still grabbing stuff so right. i will be i will be chat i will be chatting <laughs> i should just start start at the beginning of, of the last jedi and and by the time i get back we'll see if i've spoiled the whole thing <laughs> So Jar Jar, they say everyone's saying the scene has Jar Jar Binks in it, and he re totally redeems himself, and he becomes the most important character in Star Wars history ever in a positive way. So. And it's about time, my favorite character from the prequels, Jar Jar. Yeah. I think I think it's everybody's favorite character from the prequels, but they just don't want to admit it that Jar Jar Binks was really the hero of that original that original saga. Like it was. It wasn't his fault that he got duped into duped into doing what he did. <clears throat> Luke Snow just said he'd take my tit. Well, I'll tell you what, the way I've been eating and everything that's been going on this holiday season, I got a lot of tip for you, Luke. <laughs> got tits for days over here. I'm going to start to need to do like a breast exam just to see if I have any kind of growths going on because they're getting so large. Should I expose myself fresh? You guys want to see my tit? You guys you guys want to see my titties? I believe we were t we were talking about something like that before the before the show. <sighs> oh yeah. All right. What am I mixing? Let me get focused. I'm losing track here. I am mixing tonight a little something. It's called ginger men pudding. So it's gingerbread men in sort of like a bread pudding slash pudding pudding with pudding. With pudding. Pud pudding. Pudding. So what am I using for that? Well, I'm using a little bit of shisha vanilla because I fucking love shisha vanilla. I'm also using a little bit of one-on-one -on -one rice pudding. I'm using a little bit of gingerbread cookie. I'm using cinnamon sugar from the Silver Line from Capella's to add a little bit of that cinnamon sugar note on the top of the pudding. Uh, I'm also using a tiny bit of the buttercream frosting from Wonder Flavors. And that is it. So that's what I'm using together to whip this into shape. So we'll see how it tastes, and then I'll, I'll share it. I only share good shit, and I don't have that many good recipes. I'm, I'm still learning as we go along here, and I don't like to put garbage out there because I feel like ELR especially is filled with so many recipes that are not even vapable or they're copies of other copies of other copies with, like, one percentage change. And I, I think we need to sort of thin it out and only have, like, really, really good recipes or recipes that people need to, you know, uh, one cool thing that I see a lot of times is people will post the recipe – and they'll have questions down below. This is not finished yet. If anybody has any recommendations, and then you'll see like all these comments below the recipe of people adding their their two cents or maybe doing uh, an adaptation of that recipe and adding things they like, and then people can try that. So there you go. All right. I really don't know what I did with my cake batter. We're gonna we're gonna trade out cake batter for something else. You going batter list tonight? cake batter. There we go. I've got one-on-one -on -one cake batter. I'm trading out for one-on-one -on -one cake batter. That works. Let me, let me make let me make the switch. 
Switch, you Capella. must. You guys can switch Capella's cake batter right across the board to one on one. It's not going to change a whole lot. So uh, people, people that gave up on ELR, where are they going? Uh, all the flavors. How do I not know this? Do you have an all the flavors account? I guess. I don't know, Fresh. There's too many things to remember. It's too much. I'm like five steps behind and uh, I mean it's a pay it's a pay site, so I remember I remember that. <laughs> you gotta pay to play? You gotta pay to play over on over on uh, all the flavors. I don't mind paying. I mean I donated to ELR when I was involved with that because I like to support people that provide, you know, useful things to the community. Yeah, I, I don't know why people have given up on ELR. I mean, it's it's still a really nice site. It just takes a while to takes a while for it to save. That's about it. It's not that. All right. Let's see. What 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 happened, guys? Did I did my audio get fucked up or something? Because I know I hit I hit the wrong button and my audio left, but then I came back. Is it not right now? What happened? What happened? What are they saying? I don't know. Somebody said something about something being overloaded. Are we too loud now? I don't know. Oh, maybe they're saying ELR is overloaded. Maybe that's it. I mean, ELR is loaded with a bunch of stuff. A bunch of stuff. All right. Let's do this thing. So we're doing a quarter percent of the one-on-one -on -one cake batter. Ah. Oh, you slut fucker. And so the one-on-one the -on -one cake batter, we're using it for just a little bit of extra richness. A little bit of extra richness in that custard. You think we should have James Earl Jones come on and do voiceovers for what we're doing? Mm -hmm. Like, Fresh now decides to squeeze into the bottle. Oh man, that's... Can I have James Earl Jones just randomly narrate my life? Yep. <laughs> He pulls see, his penis out of his pants. I don't know if I would be okay with it, though, because I think, like, he would... I don't know, like, he would, he would say something about something that's that's coming up, and it would turn into that movie Stranger Than Fiction with Will Ferrell. Mm. Where I'm like, oh, shit, I'm going to die. Why'd you have to tell me, James Earl Jones? I was way happier before I knew. He, he, he seems like the kind of guy that would call it like it is, by the way. Like, he wouldn't hold back anything. He'd be like, fuck you, Fresh. <laughs> your Put story your is dick coming. away, Fresh. Don't tell me that, James Earl Jones. I want to taste that it, was, Fresh. That was fla Fresh has added flavor West Blackberry. <laughs> Now, would it be James Earl Jones, like, uh, from Conan, or would it be James Earl Jones from, like, like with the Vader breath? Um, I mean, if he's telling me to put my dick away, I'm hoping it's with the Vader breath. Put your dick away. <sighs> like, ooh. In a minute, keep talking, James Earl Jones. Take it back out. <sighs> <laughs> Sam, Sam Jackson. Sam Sam Jackson just randomly narrating moments in your life? Oh, yes. Lord. You gotta take a shit! Oh, how'd you know, Samuel L? Because <laughs> I saw it, motherfucker! That's right. <laughs> Ain't no snakes in their motherfucking pants. What? Samuel L? <laughs> I trusted you. That is a tasty vapor. I like it. Just 
Sean Connery. Ooh, you, Sean Connery narrating your life. Narrating various moments in your life. You see, Fresh, don't touch the kitten. She will bite you. But she's my cat. Sean Connery. She's angry, Fresh. Quit being angry. a dumbass. Quit being a dumbass, Fresh all three. That cat will that cat will be the end of you. <laughs> Let's see, oh. what did I say on the drinking room? O oh, three. Fresh. O oh, three. All right, so let me add a little bit of VG. Hi, Two point nine two. As soon as you talk about kitties, there's the Niji. Once again, congratulations to Niji for being the big winner on Mark Fagan's 100K giveaway. Rigged. Rigged. Niji's fucking Mark's alternate screen name. See, Everybody I, say hi to Mark. It's like Mark can transform into into a tiny a tiny redhead. You'd be amazed at what Mark can do. It's true. Yep. I have been I have been fairly fairly amazed by Mark in the past. Dude, I went down to the kitchen like late night to go take a piss and grab a water, and Mark was doing like a fucking Jean Claude Van Damme split across the t the countertops. So don't get it fucked up. He's got uh, he's got abilities that you wouldn't even know. It's like, hey Brian, what's going on, man? Yep. What's going on? I'm just getting a little workout in, a little meditation done. <laughs> yeah. Just just doing a split across the counters and eating eating some crackers and cheese. What you doing, bro? <laughs> what? <laughs> I'm going back to bed, Mark. Oh, quit being a pussy, Brian. It's only it's only four a.m. Yep. He's like, I've been here for five hours. Exactly. You remember when you went to bed at eleven p.m.? That's when I started. Yep. That's how you get thighs like this, dude. He really does. Like when we when we roomed together for one night until he decided to leave. Mm -hmm. um, he like sits Indian style. Like, he teaches fucking yoga. Like, he has this weird body where he can get super flexible and contort himself in bed and, like, sit Indian style. Like, it's so fucked up. It's disturbing. Like, I've had, I've been woken up from a dead sleep just thinking about it. Like, something's not right there. <laughs> I don't know. Let's do some eye contact. This is where I feel like I need an assistant. Like, you just reach over and just, like... Who do I want? Who deserves it? Who deserves the bride contact tonight? Anybody? I'm giving some eye contact to Jennifer Jarvis, Pippa, uh, JFM, JFM, all them folks that I see out there that were involved in that, the Christmas mix last night. You get a little special treat from Fresh Show 3 tonight. A special treat. Barry Hot's out there. I think I might give her a little bit of love. She loves it. She does love it. Swifty's, Swifty's begging for it, Brian. Swifty, you're you're in definitely. Vaporos rape, uh, vape, vaporos rape, <laughs> vaporos vape, vaporos rape. Yeah, he's getting in on this tonight, definitely. Yeah, if I sit Indian style, even if I sit half Indian style, like half Indian, half American style, which is like one foot like sort of down and one foot like across, I lose fucking complete circulation of my legs and I have to like stand still for like a minute when I get up because I can't even move. I get numb. Hmm. It looks like Jeff wants some, Jeff Hawk wants some bride contact. Oh, Jeff Hawk's a good, that's a good, that's a good guy. Yep. Look at the look at those eyelashes. Look at those eyelashes. Yeah. Ho 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 ho. 
I was going to start singing Jingle Bells there for a sec, but it was going to be Jingle Balls. Do it, Jingle Fresh. Balls. Do it. I'll come Jingle with balls, you. Jingle Balls. Jingle all the, all, all the way. I was gonna, maybe lick them all the way. Lick them all the way. Oh, what fun? It is to ride. With the eye contact all day. Eye contact. That's right. That's uh, right. Yeah. Ooh. Is this is this the reward you expected for for a massive migraine headache and Oh shit. Trying to trying to make us trying to make us do what you wanted when all we wanted to do was do what we wanted. Is that what you All of you naughty list motherfuckers out there? Oh, Jennifer Jarvis and Pipper definitely naughty. 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 Yeah. You girls have been naughty. <laughs> yes. Yes. Fucking naughty. Naughty. You've been naughty. Is that a <laughs> lottery mix? <laughs> I'm not sure exactly where that went. But. Like, when did Sean Connery get a respirator? I mean, he hasn't been in the public eye for, you know, like a decade now, so I suppose it's entirely possible. I'm sorry I took it in that direction. You have been naughty, motherfucker! Mm. <sighs> oh, just narrating your Christmas list? Oh, Samuel L., why? <sighs> you're, never, you're never gonna get that, motherfucker! Because you don't deserve it! Right, all them bubbles. That's no little really pocket good. of BG trapped. Actually, a little pocket of BG trap. Yeah, a little bit more. Just when you think Fresh is done, he's back in for more action. Titty sprinkles. Mm hmm. I believe that's one of Big Lou's favorite liquids. Titty sprinkles. Oh, we terrified John Carlo him again. That's interesting. Give in to the eye contact. All right, so I'm gonna throw a little bit of this on the nudge. I'm vaping on the nudge RDA tonight with the nudge mod. So it's, I'm nudging on the nudge. A little suck my mod action. A little bit on the wasp here. I'm gonna get a fresh drip. That's actually pretty darn nice. <sighs> nice, because the, the custard and the eggnog play together really, really nicely. And then that little bit of extra cake batter adds a little bit of richness, but the, the sweet black the sweet blackberry and the rum are quite lovely together. That's nice. That's nice. I learned I learned what those symbols mean from Jennifer Jarvis the other night on the Friday show. All right, so I need a name. I need a name for a blackberry rum eggnog custard. Blackberry rum eggnog custard. Everybody thinking. What's everybody thinking out there name wise? Raven Shadow Vapes is showing boobs out there in the comments, Brian. I'm assessing still fresh. I'm sorry. I like to take my time. Black Nog. Black Nog's not bad. How about Greg Nog? Greg Nog. Dressed like a lady. <laughs> Dressed like a lady. Yoda yeah. Crane. We already did, we already did yoga poop. Yoda Poop. Berry King. Blackburn Cuss Cuss. 
I like Blackburn Cuss Cuss. Drunken Berry Custard. Last Jedi Egg, egg Berry Custard. Wookie Fluff. TLJ Custard. Musty Custard. Musty Custard. The flavor of eggnog isn't musty. Really what it's doing is adding a little bit of extra egginess to that, to that, uh, the innerware custard. Duck butter custard. We could call it Ky Kylo Ren's emo tears. Last black eggnog. Man, I want to keep being friends with Zesty. Eggy sack serum. Eggy sack serum. Very nice. Writer's block. Writer's block could be a thing. Dude, if I blow this vape out, I can get a Santa beard. <laughs> Wookie sauce. Egg berry flustered. Excellent custard. Darth Vapor. Blackberry chicken milk. Blackberry chicken milk. That sounds delicious. I'm calling it blackberry chicken milk. <laughs> Nobody's gonna know what the fuck that is. What's up, clean as fuck? <clears throat> nah. Oh, clean clean AF's here. Mm -hmm. Is Sasha home yet? Is a uh, is vape queen around? Freddy. Vape queen around. Darth Custard. Mm. <clears throat> so my feelings about the mix that I have. Everything is is, is tasty. Um, anybody have a recommendation for a gingerbread man type of flavor? Because I don't uh, think this this one on one gingerbread cookie. Oh no! You grabbed the wrong one. Uh, you you actually already have the one that you need, Brian. Uh, Ginger Snap by Flavora. That's what's missing. Other than that, I can tell this is going to be a banging ass mix. It's just the gingerbread is not. There's a flavor in there that's just not pairing well, and it's definitely the gingerbread. Everything else though is balanced perfectly. It tastes rich and creamy and sweet and perfect. She's going to be here in a couple minutes. Oh, hopefully we're still on the air. Do you want to sing happy birthday to, to Babe Queen with me, Brian? Of course I do. We'll just we'll hang out for a minute or two. Where is she? she? She's coming home from work. Mm -hmm. Nice. Yeah, how bad was it down there, Freddie? How bad was it down there, traffic, traffic-wise, for you guys? Because we it is bad up here. Bad. Bad with what happened. Somebody was having a problem with the broadside getting a hot button. And uh, I, th I missed a lot of what was being said. But a hot button, you definitely don't want heat coming to your button. Something's arcing or something's causing it to get hot. And it should not be getting hot like that. What kind of it build do you like, have in there? What's the resistance of the build? Um, I know Yeti's uncle had a lot of issues with uh, hot buttons on the on the uh, broadside, and what he wound up having to do is basically just um, really, really, really like thoroughly clean the threads, and that's what was causing the issue. There was something on the threads that was that was causing the issue. Yeah, a lot of times there'll, there'll be like a burr or something like that. And, and if you grab like a sandpaper kit, sometimes you can get really, really fine, fine, fine grit sandpaper. And you can work down the, 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 the little pieces that are sort of mach not machined properly. And that helps a lot too. Spectre said dirty contacts. I think he said it was brand new though, if I'm not mistaken. Is it a brand new one? Because I think that's what Yunkle was dealing with. It was a brand new one, and it was 
It was the it was the it was the threads. Yep. Wound up, it wound up being. Traffic. Traffic, what happened? Oh, so you guys didn't hear what happened? Uh, we had a passenger train derail off of a bridge onto I-5 today. Um, about 10 miles south of where I work. So they shut down both sides of the interstate approaching it. So everything, like people are getting diverted around where I work. And it's like an hour and a half diverge, uh, diversion. Diversion. So. Uh, Swifty said it was a .14 to .17 somewhere around there, and it's stainless steel and it's pr brand new. Cleaned it once with an eraser. Yeah, it, that resistance you should not be getting a hot button at all. Something's fucked up. Yeah, go in and go in and look at your threads and find and look for look for a little burr or something causing a little bit of a cross thread. It's it's likely what it is. Like you, if you look at it, you think it's silly, but all it takes is just one little, one little flake in the wrong place. One Niji, little. Niji made a good point. She said you can screw and unscrew the threads many, many times. Obviously, you wouldn't want to cross thread it. You want to make sure it's you know smooth. And you can go back and forth, back and forth, back and forth, and that might sort of get rid of the burr. But like I said, really, really fine grit sandpaper works also. You just got to know a little bit of what you're doing. Sasha's here. Ryan, yes. you ready? Yep. All right. Three, two, one. Happy, Happy birthday, birthday to you. Happy, Happy birthday, birthday to you. Happy birthday, dear Sasha. Queens, Sasha. Well, Brian's coughing. Sasha, happy birthday, Vape Queen. Vape Queen. Happy birthday to you. If that doesn't make you want to kill yourself, nothing will. Happy birthday, Sasha. Happy, 50, happy 55th birthday, Sasha. She's in no way 50, 55. I know that. <laughs> 65 this year. I think I just had an aneurysm. Well, oh, man. You mean me to yeah. text Amy? Like, hey, Brian might be down. I'll be honest with you. I want to get one of those things where you blow, break a blood vessel and your whole eye gets blood red. Uh -oh. and I want it to just, I want to be that creepy guy that walks around, like, making kids uncomfortable. Like, hey, little one. You see the last Jedi yet? <laughs> you like candy? I'll send you my Yoda hat. It'll get even better. Giancarlo comes in and he's like, candy. Oh, oh, just Giancarlo looming up, looming over some candy. poor little candy. What? Is your shell over? No. What if the bad news? What? Fresh, we have to end the show now. Amy has really bad news for me. Oh, okay. <laughs> I'm just kidding. I don't know what she's talking about. <laughs> <laughs> Anything else? Any links? Anything to comment? Concerns? Uh, no, I was on that. I was on that show last night. Uh, if you didn't catch it, you can go check the. You can go check the replay. Uh, you can go check the replay of my Saturday show where it was Rin, uh, ML Nikon, and Leilani. Leilani took over the channel, and they had a hell of a show. Hell of a show. <laughs> hey, everybody. So, yes, you guys can go check out those shows. Um, the Friday show, if you have kids around, don't let them watch it. But we did have uh, John from Congregate on. That was a fun show. Very cool. Uh, hell of a guy. Hell of a guy. That's hell all I got, here, everybody. Sweet. All right, guys, so we will not have a show next week because it's Christmas, so I wish everybody Christmas. a Merry Christmas if you celebrate Christmas. And if not, I hope you have a wonderful day anyway. And, uh, yeah, love everyone that you love in your life. Enjoy the season. Always use a bumper. Use a bumper. Give back. There's a lot of people out there that don't have the fortunate life that you have, so share, share the wealth with everyone. Hi, Barry. I haven't seen you in a while.
That's right. Guilt them, guilt them on the way out, Brian. Guilt them on the way out. That's what we do. Go give to St. Jude's, you, you stingy motherfuckers. That's what we do. <laughs> All right, guys. Much love. See you next week. people out there smoking. The gums didn't help me quit. The pills didn't help me quit. Patches didn't help me quit. Lozenges didn't help me quit. Sigalikes didn't help me quit. Family pressure didn't help me quit. Embarrassment didn't help me quit. Health problems didn't help me quit. Societal pressure. The financial costs. None of them helped me quit smoking. The only thing that worked for me was vaping.